Just before we get into this video, if you didn't know, I actually host custom Warzone games every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're trying to play some custom Rebirth Island or Verdance games with me, make sure you tune into my Twitch at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard every single Friday. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I hope all of you are having a great day so far. In today's upload, we are going to be going over the all-time best LC-10 class setup in Cold War. So the LC-10 for most people is their favorite gun in the game, and that's because it has very low recoil. The TTK is great. It has a good mag size. The fire rate isn't too fast or too slow, and so does overall it's a very nice weapon. So with that said, I got you guys two very good LC-10 class setups. One's a 5 attachment and the other is a gunfighter. If you enjoyed this video at any point, a like is greatly appreciated. It really helps me out in that YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy the best Cold War content, make sure that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. Okay, boys, we got the LC-10. We got Rush. We got Domination. We got the regular skill matchmaking lobby. Yes, I am not reverse boosting for once. Come on, teammates. You're not even going to capture A. Wow, I'm the only one. Then we got Slowy being slow as fuck. So there's probably like fucking three more dudes here. Okay, so I think everyone camps in this area, so I'm just gonna zone this top part and see how many kills I can get up here. That's usually how you get nukes, you just want like zone an area. Like really lock it down. Oh my god, all my teammates just went right into their spawn. This is actually spooky. Oh, get juked. Dude, they're all hitting me. This is how you drop nukes, so you just want to, like, zone an area like this. And just learn, like, every route to get there. That's the only reason I kind of like reverse boosting, too, is I don't have to play like this. Let's do that. Oh, we're popping off, actually. Okay, we got the hand cannon. Okay, so we got the war machine. I'm gonna wait till I get my harp. need my harp and I'm chilling. There we go. Let's come over here. Let's actually pull out this war machine just to get a couple easy kills. There we go. Oh, 15. Can we get the nuke? A nuke in a regular lobby? Possibly, boys. Possibly. Probably. Okay, so they're starting to come up behind us, so that's a little bit sketchy. I don't really like that. I might switch up my area because they do know exactly where I'm at. These guys seem decent, so let's pull out this war machine. Clean them up really easily. Okay, I might want to zone this spot in here. I want to maximize the amount of kills I get with this thing though. Okay, so halftime. We're 28 and 5, not too good, but we're almost on the nuke streak. I really don't think these guys like me. I don't think they like me at all. Yes, sir. Okay, I think we're on like a 17. And so I think I can get this. I'll probably choke, but hopefully I can get this. I'll probably zone the speedball area, like where, like the main paintball place. Let's use this hand cannon, see if we can pick up some extra kills. Oh my god, boys, that was close. This hand cannon fucks you up. Come on, enemies. Dude, they don't peek anymore. Dude, they're not peeking at all. Oh my god, I died. See, I always get nervous, and like, I was nervous because I was actually gonna get a nuke in a regular lobby, and that caused me to choke. You know, we still can probably get them. These guys are not too good at all. Where am I? Where am I, buddy? Oh yeah, they're sitting back too. Oh my gosh, these guys. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my god, I got walls. Get out of here, dude. This lobby's actually so cheese. Except for that guy. Alonto, you're decent, dude. Congrats. Sorry that the game plays a little bit slow. I think after this, we'll hop into like a 6v6. See if we can drop like 100 or something on there. Dude, he's not moving. What a cheesy lobby, boys. What a cheesy lobby. We got a couple of them over there. Hopefully my teammate takes him out. Need them to start spawning back here again. No, what the fuck? I missed every shot and then the second guy came around. They go up there so slow and they know exactly where I'm at. That's why you gotta like switch up where you hide or like zone. Yeah, not hide, just like where you zone. It's not even camping. Camping's like staying in this room, but zoning's like you can zone this area of the map. But you always gotta mix up where you zone because the enemies will start to predict where you're at. And you wanna be unpredictable because Call of Duty is a game of predictions. You gotta outpredict the enemy before they outpredict you. Teammates, capture B. Don't run past it. If you touch tips with the flag, just capture it. Oh yeah, if we had this harp, we could have easily got that nuke. It's too easy, boys. It's too easy. As I lose a gun, fight. Oh, I didn't think that guy heard me, and so I wanted to kill his teammate, come up behind him, get a triple kill. 
should probably go die. Let's go over here. Capture that guy off spawn. Get this guy. Get these guys. Oh my god, it's too easy. Let me know if this counts as a regular lobby or like if you guys want to see even a harder lobby because this lobby is pretty easy. I didn't drop the nuke, but this is like my first game on of the day. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see like even harder lobbies. Like I can hunt for hard lobbies and try to do good in those. Dude, the hitfire with this thing is so ass sometimes. Okay, 62 and 12, not too bad. I think if I was warmed up, I could do a little bit better, but yeah, I'll take it. Okay, boys, we're playing 6v6 face-off, probably the best mode in the game right now. It's super hectic, playing on the gunfight maps, but with 6v6, so it's actually really fun. And so let's see if we can drop like 100 kills or something. Let me know if you guys want to see like hardcore gameplay. I haven't played hardcore in a while, but I think that'd be kind of fun to show. So I think I can get some spawn traps going. Dude, my team's getting shit on. Like, they're getting really shit on. I'll get like three kills, we'll get up into their spawn, I'll die, and then we'll just get spawn trapped. There we go, we're getting a little spawn trap going. This is when the mode's really fun, is when you can just completely pwn the enemies. Dude, I hate these decoys, they fuck you up so much. Go a little 9, can we go on a 10? 10 streak maybe? Oh my god, what the fuck? Why did they all just spawn there? Oh my gosh. Dude, this LC10 is so nasty. Look at this thing at range. Like they all have AR. Oh, okay, that guy had the bullfrog and he outgunned me. GG's. Oh my god, I thought that was a decoy because there's so many decoys in this mode for some reason. It's so annoying because it mimics footsteps. Wait, they haven't moved. I was like, I'm fucked because he's gonna challenge me, but he never did. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, literally stuck on the ground. I can't move. Okay, we're on a 9. Can we get a 10? Can we get a 10 going? Not with this stupid PPSH. Not with the MC. Dude, where's my gun? <laughs> oh my god, why does it always happen to me? So here's an overview of the class I was using in today's gameplay. As you guys can see, this is a 5 attachment setup, and so if you do want a Gunfighter LC10 class setup, I will be giving you guys a Gunfighter one as well. So to start things off, we are going to be doing the Gunfighter class, so if you do want to run an optic, I recommend doing the Microflex LED or the Mail Stop Reflex. For the muzzle, you want to do the Agency Suppressor just so you stay off the radar. I'm a big fan of staying off the radar, and so most of my classes aren't going to have like a compensator on there, because if you stay off the radar, you're going to live a lot longer, and so that's why I always recommend you guys to run a suppressor. What I previously used to to do was the sound suppressor because you don't really need that vertical recoil control you really really don't but it's kind of nice to have it sometimes that i notice myself hitting more shots at range with it and i actually can go on a little bit of longer streaks just because i can hit more shots and so i recommend you guys to try out the agency but if you can control the recoil perfectly then i would do the sound suppressor so there's not as many cons for the barrel you want to do the ranger barrel just to increase that bullet velocity it's going to make this gun feel like hit skin the bullet velocity in this game isn't the best and so i always like running like the bullet velocity barrels just so i can kill my enemies way quicker for the body you want to do the tire team spotlight or the steady aim laser so the tire team spotlight super cool puts a red circle above the enemy's head making it very easy to spot them or you can do the steady aim laser if you want to increase hit fire accuracy and so i just go through both of these and figure out which one you want for the underbarrel i recommend you guys to do the speed grip just so you can increase that sprinting mood speed it's going to allow you to be very quick on the field and on top of that we get some horizontal recoil control allowing us to really beam our enemies say you don't really care about that sprinting movement speed then i would do the four grip so you have no cons for the magazine you want to do the 42 round speed mag just so you have extra ammo and you can really really quick we are losing some ads speed but that's okay because for the handle we are going to be doing the serpent wrap to bring that value back up and add five percent on top of that we are losing some sprint to fire speed but that's also okay because for the stock we are going to be doing the raider stock which is just going to increase our sprint to fire speed and add straight speed we are losing hit fire accuracy which isn't a win and so that's why for the body you might want to add the stadium laser just to bring that back up and just in case you guys want to take a screenshot of the gunfighter lc10 class setup and that's going to wrap it up for the gunfighter class now let's get into the five attached one which is my favorite one and the one I use in the gameplay. I really never use gunfighter classes just because I don't really think you need A attachments. Obviously, having A attachments is better than five attachments, but I think having six perks with five attachments is way better. So to start things off for the five attachment class, I suggest taking off the optic, then you want to take off the body, and then you want to take off the stock, and then right here is a very good five attachment LC10 class setup. So with all that said, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. Hope you guys like the class. I hope I'll be having a great rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.